Chicago Duck woman, Caitlin, who says she lost about $25,000 to someone she fell for online. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And AARP Connecticut tells us they're getting more and more calls about romance scams that are impacting locals here in Connecticut every week. Like this Naugatuck woman I spoke to, and today she hopes to share her story to help somebody else from experiencing the financial and emotional pain she did. She did ask us to hide her face and change her voice. Now, this relationship did last for one year, so there was a big commitment on both sides. The woman doubts she'll ever get her money back, but she's doing what she can to report her story, and she hopes by sharing her story, she can help people be wary of who they meet online. Uh, again, they just, again, they play on your emotions, and uh, for these women or for anyone that get involved in something like this, that you think, oh, how could this happen to me? So what are some more tips that you can look out for, Caitlin, to avoid you or your loved one getting scammed? So first and foremost, never send money, cryptocurrency, or... So, I mean, I'm sure it's hard to track down these con artists, Caitlin. Who do you go to to report something like this? It's extremely hard to track these folks down. Usually they might be overseas, so that's why we want to give you these telltale signs as keys to look for yourself. Now, you should reach out to your local police department um, you know, to report something if you ha have happened to you or a loved one. You can also report it to DCP, Facebook, the FTC. There are a number of support groups, and I'm getting those on our website for you soon. Kaylin Birchill, some exclusive uh, reporting. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.